Tetralogy of Fallot is one of the most important cyanotic congenital heart diseases, and so we wanted to dive a little further into the four features that give it the name Tetralogy. First off, you'll notice that the boat that holds the four followers of George Washington is called the Revolution, with the R and the V capitalized. That's because all of these findings apply to the right ventricle, unless they're sort of generic, as we'll come to. So the first main finding in Tetralogy of Fallot is right ventricular outflow tract obstruction. And we'll symbolize that with this first follower here trying to deal with these obstructing rocks. RVOT obstruction essentially just means that there's stenosis at or just below the pulmonary valve, which means that blood has a hard time getting through the valve and to the lungs. The second finding is right ventricular hypertrophy. Because of that obstruction, the right ventricle becomes extremely muscular as it tries to push blood through that closed off valve. We'll symbolize that hypertrophy with this extra muscular soldier standing in the boat. The next finding is an overriding aorta, which means that the aorta receives blood from both the right and left ventricles. We'll symbolize that with this soldier riding on top of that very muscular soldier. And then the final finding is a VSD, essentially a communication between the right and left ventricles. We'll symbolize that with a hole in this boat being bailed out by our fourth follower. And that's really it for Tetralogy of Fallot. If an exam or an attending asks you about these findings, just remember these brave soldiers crossing the Delaware. One trying to clear an obstruction, another who's just jacked, a third sitting atop his shoulders, and a fourth bailing them all out from a huge hole in the boat.